Welcome to the next video in our database backed application tutorial. Up until now we've created a jokes database where we're able to enter new jokes and search for the jokes that we've created. In this video we're going to make this look better using some formatting and some CSS. We're going to make this as easy as possible using a formatting tool called Bootstrap. Now if you don't know what Bootstrap is, go to their webpage getbootstrap.com and you'll see some formatting right on the screen here that gives you a good example of what a web page built with Bootstrap looks like. It's very clean. You notice the app, the navigation looks good. The buttons are all well formatted. You can take advantage of all of this CSS formatting by including Bootstrap in your program. And that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to search on Google for a term called Bootstrap Form Builder. And this link comes up here called Bootstrap form builder at uh, their website here bootsnip.com and forms. Now we're going to use this form builder to simply create a form layout using this nice CSS formatting. So here's a section here called search input. If I just drag this area over into my form and drop it and I can go in and rename some of these things. Let's look at our original form that we created. Our original form here is very short. There's no formatting at all. But there are some key things we have to keep in mind. We made a field called keyword. We'll have to remember that. And the form action up here called search keyword. Those are really the only two key parts to this. So we'll use these two things and edit our form in a minute. So back in the form builder, we're going to label this input as keyword. I'm going to click on it and a dialog box comes up. What is this thing called? That's the name at the top. So let's put in key word. Everything else is going to be optional. So for instance, search input is good. Placeholder. Well, the placeholder text, I'm going to say things like EG. That means, for example, chicken. So it gives the user an idea of what they're supposed to search for. Help text. Below the search term is an area where we can put in a hint. And so I'll put the instructions here. Enter a word to search for in the joke table. I'm going to require this, and then I'm also going to make it larger. And let's push save. So now you see that we have a newly formatted form. It's missing the submit button. So let's go back to the area called buttons, and you can choose any of these. Let's go pick the one called single button and drag that over here below the search entry. Let's click on this thing. The name should be submit. Now this has a button label. We can probably just delete that. So I'm going to press backspace. The button label, let's change this to search. You can change the color here if you like something besides blue. So primary is blue and the other colors are different red and green and things. So I'll leave mine as primary. The form name is the last thing that I should customize. So I'll click here and I'm going to choose this title, search for a joke in the database. So now I'm going to take this form that we've just built with a nice formatting with a blue button and the rounded corners and the properly formatted titles and I'm going to put that into my application. So let's click on this button called view HTML. All the code that has been generated for this is right here. So I recommend if you want to understand Bootstrap is go look at some of the lessons online at their website and then you can figure out what's going on here. But for right now we're just going to borrow this code builders form. So copy this and let's go back to our application. Now I'm going to create some space between these forms. So below this part that says form, I'm going to insert the code that I just created. Paste it. I need to make at least one change to this code that I've pasted here. Notice in my original code that I created there was this thing called form action equals search. Let's do the same down here. So in the first line of our new code I have form and they've added something called class form horizontal so I'll just put in a space after that and I'll type in this action equals search keyword dot PHP. Let's save this and let's go back to our application main page and click refresh. 
you'll see some changes. You'll see the nice form has an outline, but most of the formatting that we were expecting is not there. So like the blue button, the nice fonts, why not? Well, the reason why it's not formatted properly is I have not yet added Bootstrap to my program. I've just used some code that's supposed to work with Bootstrap. So let's go to Google again, and I'm going to search for this term, Bootstrap and jQuery includes. In other words, what do I have to include in my code? So let's do a search and find out what comes up. Here is a nice website again, W3 Schools. They seem to show up all the time. So I'm going to click on this link. And so you can see down the page here, there are three lines here of code called includes or links to other websites. This first link will get you a copy of the Bootstrap CSS file. The next will give you jQuery and the third is J JavaScript code that is working with Bootstrap. These are all called a external link to a CDN or a content development network. You don't have to download anything, you just have to copy these files and put them into your code. So copy this, go back to our main page, and up in the header section I'm going to paste all three items. Save this, Go back to your page, refresh it, and now we have a much nicer looking form. Let's see if it works though. Let's type in the word chicken as it suggests and click search. And so we come to our keyword search web page using the same thing that we had before. So this needs some formatting obviously, but we've got the first page formatted properly. So since my form seems to be working, I'm going to delete the original form. Let's see what it looks like now without that. So I'll refresh the page and now I have the first form working properly. Let's look at the second form on our code here. What did we have in this form? We had a field called new joke and another field called new answer. Submit was our button and the action we went to was the add joke PHP code. So we'll use these three things in our code. Let's go back to the form builder. Let's refresh the page on our form builder. We'll start with a new form. So I'm going to use a text input up at the top and a second text input. And then below we're going to add a button. And so I've added a button and two text input fields. Let's start renaming these things. Let's go check again what these names are supposed to be. The first field is called New Joke. So let's go into here, click on this, name the input field as New Joke. The placeholder would be empty. Let's leave it empty. And the help text, I'm going to say, enter the first half of your joke. Let's enter the uh, field as a large field, maybe an extra large, and save that one. For the next item down, this is called new answer. So for the label text I'm going to say the answer. And then in the help text below I'm going to say enter in the punchline to your joke. So let's create this as a large answer and save it. So we should have something that looks like our field we have right now. Below here we're going to rename this button as a submit button and the uh, text we can leave out and for this thing we're going to say add a new joke. So now we have a form built quite quickly and let's go view the HTML. Select it all with control A, control C for copy and now we go back to our jokes application. I'm going to insert this below the second form make another change here. Remember the form action line is necessary if we want to make this work with another piece of code. So I'm going to copy and paste this into the new form. Let's save it. Let's refresh the page. And now you can see we have a new form down below. You notice I forgot to title this thing. It just says form name. So let's go and change that. Form name is listed here in this section called legend. So I'll just say add a joke. Let's save that and refresh the page. 
and now we have add a joke. So what I'm going to do is remove this form. We no longer need that. We have a more fancy form. I'm going to search and enter. You notice this form needs some changing as well. The formatting on our joke page needs some help with bootstrap as well. So we'll do that in the next video.